What's up, degenerates? Mad Bergen here for Cold Bear Sports. Right, lads, hope you're all doing well. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, six for tomorrow. But before I go into tomorrow, let's recap today. So, really, uh, no winner on the YouTube channel today. Under curfew, just getting ran out of it. The other selections, a bit disappointing to be fair so no excuses just wasn't good enough to pick a winner on the day uh yeah so let's just move on from that and i think tomorrow could be a good day let's just touch on the patreon service no tip on the patreon service today however i did text everybody a private message on the service today to keep an eye on two jockeys that I had really nice books arrived one was ray dawson he drew a blank. He had a third of 12 to 1, but wait for it. The other being David Probert rides a five-timer. So I really hope some of you done the lucky 31s or the lucky and got the five of them together. So really, really happy to, to you know, to send everyone a message this morning and say, keep an eye on David Probert this evening in Foss that he goes and rides a five timer so let's hope people were on and got I hope you were on lads I hope you put them into a multiple bet and got it please somebody hit the bookies right let's move on to tomorrow because the time for cotton is over you all know me I don't dwell around here we were on lucky but under curfew I thought maybe the ground did just probably a better horse on quicker ground but anyway let's move on because the winners are coming tomorrow and if you are following patreon we are kicking them in the nuts tomorrow i got a five points win selection i got a three points each way selection i got a two points each way selection at a nice price we might be playing and i think i might have a three points each way at six to one we have we might be playing four or five horses tomorrow that are all have upside and uh, yeah let's hope to kick the bookies in the nuts right link for link for the patreon be in the description below moving on we kick it off tomorrow with a horse a son of camelot now it is favorite but this is a vast improver we nearly had this fella on the patreon service one day at 16 to 1 only to be second he was still too green to do himself justice that day but anyway he's six to four tomorrow but i think he's fast improving and i, I expect him to win tomorrow 135 summer's night a point win at six to four then we move on to beverly an interesting runner here for me san zane nibras this son of havana gold showed a bit of promise the last day and off a mark of 62 and a price of 10 to 1 i'm prepared to give it a point each way uh excuse me this horse definitely or this trainer definitely does well with these types and it looks like the horse is just coming to hand so a 10 to 1 it could outrun its odds saying nibras two o'clock beverly a pint each way then we go to the 345 in beverly this horse dream bird trained by ed walker did the they really gave this horse a, a really nice easy time of it they, they let him learn its job on the race course big late developing type by oasis dream and uh yeah she's a massive filly and uh i think she'll run a good race tomorrow it's stepping up to two mile a pint each way at six to one look these races around beverly are trappy and tricky so just be careful get all the extra places there's plenty of runners in them two races so try and get all the extra places but a pint each way dream bird a pint each way zen nebras and uh, maybe a pint each way double on the two of them 10 to 1 and 6 to 1 right moving on then to the 430 in leperstown this one dermot weld having a really really good time of it is a shan hawaii or whatever you pronounce it. i'm not even getting into it the aggie can silks and this is by sea the stars this ran a lovely race on debut and i think it's going to step up from a good draw with ushi Noor in the saddle drawn and stalled four so it's around the three to one a pint win in the 430 at leperstown then we're going to move on to the 440 in salisbury now this filly time 
homeless soul. This filly is interesting. She's definitely on exposed now. However, the handicapper has raised her four pound, I think, for her last run. But but she came up against a really good filly that we had on the service. We put her on the Patreon service as a five point win Achilles when she won in uh ascot and then we put her as a three points win when she beat this filly in goodwood so the filly that she beat her is a vast vast improver um achilles i think she's a daughter of softening and she looks like a really really uh filly on the up so she bumped into one the last day so i'm gonna say timeless soul probably has the best form in the book here and probably can improve the most so we'll go a pint you know, that second for me is a very, very good run because Achilles is just a real improver. So uh, a point win a three to one. And then we'll go to the 538 in Linkfield. Right, this is a horse, Joseph O'Brien's after taking control. Tall, but he must have bought it recently enough because it was running uh, with Brian Mean for a long time up until June maybe or sometime. But anyway, Glen Eagles... Um, Dylan Brown McMonagall in the saddle top class jockey on your side now I would be shocked if Joshua Bryan doesn't improve this horse I really would it's it's a course winner on debut and uh, so a link field won't be no problem to it and uh, yeah coming out of Brian Means look Brian Mean no doubt is a good man to train a horse but Joshua Bryan uh, seems to just work the oracle with these types and I, I think you could expect a better showing from this horse tomorrow and it has some okay runs for Brian Mean so look it hasn't been with Joseph that long but it's been with him long enough I'd say that it can definitely improve and a point each way on that so that's the six winners for you tomorrow so the very very best of luck and uh, yeah, let's hope we kick them bookies in the nuts. Lads, tune into Patreon tomorrow. We have a five point win in the goal tier. We have a couple of three point each ways and a two point each ways. And let's kick them greedy, greedy firms in the nuts. Time for cotton is over.